Well, the rain was a uh, hour and a half late. AccuWeather said three o'clock right on the dot. And I have a little battery. See that swirl right there that's actually draining off hundreds of gallons of water right now, but it's partially clogged. That was my contribution. And to tell you the truth, I'm not going to open it up until I'm sure people stop trying to stop right here and save me. Now these six spaces, which are, those two are absolutely unusable by the patrons here because they don't want to get their feet wet, even though they're just wearing little thin sandals. And it's starting already, normally, we only just had maybe a quarter, a third of an inch of rain. It may come a little bit more, but usually a quarter of an inch of rain with the runoff is enough to flood all of these, all six of these parking spaces, completely flood them to where the rain has to flow out to that storm drain over there and during heavy, heavy rainfall it has to go up to that one over there and really become a and they need these six parking spaces which I made available uh, let them know that I'm the one that found see right there see how it's got the curb cut there's at least about a three by four foot steel grate that was covered with those rocks before some idiot landscaper moved them actually the current position of those rocks were determined by a little black boy who's here with his parents, very lovely parents. Each one of them gave me a plastic gift card for somewhere. One of them was, I think, Jack in the Box or something. That was the last time I ate a Jack in the Box due to the palm oil problem. And if you notice, I'm not getting up and taking that threaded steel bolt and opening up that drain because I want them to remember and I really don't want anybody parking right here because they won't. They absolutely will not use this one. Even that person there is going to be reluctant to get into their vehicle because they're going to get their feet wet. Oh my God. Heaven forbid. I'm from SoCal, man. It never rains in Southern California. Actually, that was spinning a lot faster. It's actually telling me that it's getting more plugged up. But I'm not going to do the balancing act. Because I actually want it to flood that way as far as it can. To cut off, see those ant mounds over there? Actually, one of the ant mounds has kind of died off in favor of the one that's taller. The ant mounds that were coming up here there now they've left because of constant irrigation but I just I had this little metaphor kind of thing about the life of hobo shit stain slowly swirling around the drain and then somebody comes along and opens the drain and down he goes down 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 so that's the story of how rain today saved me from any more people trying to save me with their the crap that they buy with their plastic. Please remember that most Americans are in debt. They don't have actual positive net cash. They're, they're in the negative zone at all times between their mortgages and their credit card debt. And they got like 16 credit cards because they keep like bouncing around, pay $25 here to one card. So that card will give them another three to $5,000 uh, worth of credit. And you know, as long as you pay the minimum payment, that's really all they care about is collecting the interest, never collecting the principal. And the old G boy just sits here in the rain with his big giant brawly after two women tried to give him little girl umbrellas that wouldn't even keep my head. And yeah, I'm sitting on plastic. All my blankets are dry. My sleeping bag is in a 10 mil. You know, 
I actually plot ahead of things for things like this because number one, that's what you should do. I'm not some drunken bum who sits around pissing away every dime and being unprepared and sitting here and looking like, oh, save me, give me some money, take me to a hotel. No, I checked today. There are hotels at actually reasonable prices for Friday, but I have to go over into technically what is Williamson County. I have to go six miles, but actually when you start getting past two miles and stuff, the price is about the same on Uber. The worst that's happened so far is I've gotten, oh, about a dozen drops of rain because I'm using the back of my umbrella to be sure because I have a poncho over the back and I have a cheap ass poncho over the three blankets I'm setting on. Otherwise, I'm dry, although I'm afraid that the new battery I bought ain't worth crap. And although it stayed pretty, I've got my big battery over there in a plastic bag plugged in. You know, when I get to it in the morning, it'll be fully charged. And I was mostly was testing this Apple charger that somebody dropped the other day. It looks kind of old, and I'm about to do the exam now. I don't think that there's shit in that battery. The, it'll only charge through the USB-A port on, on it, apparently, not the USB-C. And that's really all it's got on it is the... A and the C. And I gave it a little try, but it didn't charge any. And I guess I'll do them a favor now. I'm going to, let's see if I can do this with, uh, while uh, holding the camera, which if I drop this cell phone in that water, I'm never going to forgive myself. Let's open up the drain. Because the rain's pretty much stopped. And I'm about to show the people at Starbucks who controls that fucking drain. It's me. I'm sorry, I gotta do a little gymnastics here. Uh, nope. I cannot span that. Can I make that? Oh, that hurt. Okay, now watch this. See where it's spinning? There you go. I went from a few gallons to now it'll drain several thousand gallons. See what I mean? There's your life, hobo. Shit stain. Every day, more and more down the drain. That's it, I'm done. I made my point. Yeah, I control this parking lot. If I want to flood them six spaces, 